Oh yeah, yo. You can't just reach enlightenment just fucking and eating meat all the goddamn time. See, they got you thinking that you can do all that eating chicken every damn day. I don't even know an animal that can do that. Eat meat every day, man. You know what I'm saying? So, the lowering your vibration, this is something that's not even animal-like. Even animal-like is is programmed with the with the integrity and the decency to, to discipline at least its own appetite because shit, famine might hit. You may have to go without. You may have to go search for some water or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But with a human, you're a little smarter. Famine hit, you better have some grains and things stored up in this bin I itch. Because they already know what's up. You getting getting you used to eating meat and flesh. It's like a dopamine drug. You know, everybody has their drug. It's like when you see people who are rich and they walk into a store and they slow up. It's like they're walking into the drug store for them. And it's very good. When they leave it, it's the same way. When they leave out, it's like, ah. that's why a mall is like a, oh, they can leave out and go to another one. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? That's what they have money. They can do it. It's giving money, you know what I'm saying, off the strength of the Marukan, the true one, the Naga, the one that lived down south in the east, and you know, show the, the northern uh tribes of North America of what's up and how to get down and the, the the great pure Holy Spirit. This is in Gautama now. Gautama is the last place where the Holy Spirit dwell. We had direct connection with the Creator. Like we was on the frequency, the vibration. We have to use lords and gods and all these little different things to get to the creator. We was like, boom, creator, you know what I'm saying? Tuned right in. We was eating the right thing. We was in tune with the earth. The right thing at the time, you know what I'm saying? We even went through winters, you know? Wore animal skins, you know? And not overly, like, killed them like that. But we dropped in vibration, and then there was a angelic entity that was on a low vibration. Because anything that's a part of earth and its heavens, which is the atmosphere, it's still on... It's still with that corporeal plane, even though it's in the S form, form, which is spirit form. They still are influenced by the lower entity, which is they call Satan or the, the gratification of self desires. So, yo, they, these spirits came with some warring other spirits, man, and it was like, boom, let me entice these old knockers over here to do this, that, and the third. They are already damn near there. We, shit, once they get all the way there, cluster B personality disorder, boom, right there. They may not say cluster B personality disorder like that, but that's what it's diagnosed as. You know, and this is where you have to let these people see their own cluster B personality disorder because they don't even see their wrong of what they've been doing to the Naka in the world. Everybody's got rich off the Naka. <clears throat> you won't get enlightenment, man, just by reading and doing all of that shit. You're going to have to do the inner work. You know what I mean? And then you'll understand. Yeah, you did get rich off the Naka. You did do the house joint resolution 192. You did put the Naka up. You know what I'm saying? The Marukans, the ones that showed you all the this, that, and the third, man. We had cornfields and fields, man. The horn of plenty. You know what that means? I mean, we had all kind of vegetables, man. Like, we grow all this shit right here. Look, boom, 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 in the horn of plenty. They're like, yo, we give you seeds for around the world. Now you can cultivate the shit. That's what we do. Knowledge is knowledge is the money. You know what I mean? We have the money. Some people, they get that misconstrued with like, oh, that's power. I got money. I can do it. It's only powerful to people who actually value the money at what it is. You know, in reality, the knowledge is because knowledge, it never, it never really dies. You can pass it on. It becomes wisdom. You become wise when you do that. So therefore, the understanding will be born. That shows and proves the equality of the creator. Knowledge borns equality anyway and understanding borns equality. But it so happens to be that equality borns wisdom. And equality and wisdom is going to born, build, or destroy. So you build them with what? With the wisdom. The creator's wisdom is solids, liquids, and gases and everything that is made in material matter and the elements. You build them with those to bring to build a structure and bring forth that understanding, which is the clear perception. The only way you can do that is if you knowledge decipher and see what you have to destroy that's weak and wicked around it so that your structure can stand. This is what being a god is about. So you got to refine yourself. You got to refine your sexual habits. You got to refine your eating habits and all these different things to reach the point of enlightenment. You got to. And this is where growing up, we're not really, this is not it. You're a light being. You grow up, you learn, and you perfect your talents 
on out into Etheria. Now he's getting the science. They give you a glimpse of Etheria when they show Star Trek and how they can travel from different boom boom worlds and, and have to check certain species because it was holding the worlds down in, in slavery type shit. Because that's what the atmosphere the beings in atmosphere that drop from um, their, their, the third resurrection on down to the first and second resurrections, they drop from them and they get beings that's low in the grades after they transition. They're low in the grades. They're called Jujas. They will inspire mortals, which is not niggas and whoever else is living on the earth and natural beings. But now you got a mixture of hybrids and everything. You know what I'm saying? But really, nat normally it'd be like just natural motherfuckers and shit. And they just inspire them and they just play with them and, and, and like play with their mind and emotions, you know, and further bring out their lower self, you know, and that's the goal for thousands of these for just at least for a cycle until a theory and God comes through like, yo, you can't even have this. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? We got to set it up in the all being the all the all the all person creator. You got to have one all being. If you don't have that, you're gonna have not you're not gonna have the order. It's all one all beings and everyone. And if you're in, in higher vibrational frequency, you're going to be in tune with that. The being is going to speak through you to you, which is you and I, which is you only got thing going way. Because it's only one, man. I, it's only one. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to say peace, more love and light. And yeah, man, definitely more blessings and salutations on your semen retention journey and your celibacy journey. Let's go. Your celibacy journey. You know, it's Mercury retrograde, man. So, you know, it's going to we use the stars and all these different things we had to learn the lower parts of ourselves before we got to the spiritual point but now we're at the point where we can add that spiritual with the physical and it's like yeah 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 right let y'all